another week. Last week we were fortunate enough to have the homeboy Glocko uh, come and bless the table. And that was cool. Ch- yeah, chop it up with us and kick it with us for a minute. Shout outs to him. Um, hopefully everybody who watches this checked out his music as well. And uh, yeah, so I, I want to talk about the Utes. Did you guys All right, watch the yeah. game? Did you guys Didn't watch the game. Didn't watch oh, the game, but I was on ESPN following it. Nice. I was on ESPN following. Congrats to them. Hell yeah, congrats to them. It's, it's crazy. Big I was win. Just, yeah, big win. And what's wild, I was talking to my uncle about this. Mm-hmm. They fucking didn't even expect them to make it this far. No, they, yeah. uh, did, they, they didn't even start the season off hot, did they? No. Because they, 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 they lost one to BYU. And, and they, like, the, one of their quarterbacks transferred out. Yeah, oh, yeah, that's because they, they wanted to start Cam Rising, and then yeah. the, the starting quarterback to begin the season yeah. transferred out because he was like, "I'm not taking a back seat." Yeah, and now they're fucking back, Pac-12 fucking. championship winners, right into the fucking Rose Bowl. Yep, but I mean, I mean, that's good. You know, yeah. you like to you like to see the local team do good like that. We yeah. ain't seen them do that since Urban Meyer when they went to the Fiesta Bowl, right? And you all know the Rose Bowl is big, way bigger than the Fiesta Bowl. Oh yeah, and what's crazy is there's so many seasons where they were supposed to go to the Rose Bowl. Yeah, right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they were like, I remember even last year's team, the local sports radio, because I listened. To them a lot they're like oh this is the best Utes team ever that's what they right. said last year in 2020 yeah. this is the best Utes team ever mm-hmm. they didn't even fucking make it close they, they lost the make it Pac-tow- Pac-tow- but do you think do you, do you think a lot of the people always fucking <laughs> say that yeah I you know what I mean so. because every right. NFL season to promote the season they're like the most important year ever mm-hmm. yeah you know I mean this is the year type right. type shit you know yeah. but I mean fuck kudos to them man they went in there they took care of business against Oregon Oregon or- yeah. and another thing is too is Oregon really don't lose back to back games right. to the same no. team yeah in right. one year they right. really don't I, I, I was looking at the odds on that and the odds weren't too great yeah but shit, they went in there and took care of business. <laughs> took care of business. Fuck. Yeah. Smashed them. I didn't like that they them. was in the Raiders stadium uh, wearing black unis. Oh, and then, but yeah. yeah. Those yeah. black unis are hard. Though. They're hard, they but you know they, 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 they you know you know they did it because they was in the fucking yeah, the Death well, Star. I mean, shit. The Raiders are now the closest team here to Utah. Fuck you them. know what I mean? They're they're Salt Lake. So I don't know. It might be drive. even. We might have we might have to check because I think it's six <laughs> to Denver's weak ass. Is it? Yeah. I think it is. But. Vegas is cooler. <laughs> Fuck, yeah, way cooler. Just, uh, Vegas is cool, but I, I don't know, like their the atmosphere for the games, how they're gonna be. Because mm-hmm. I mean, they get like these celebrity DJs there. They're like, right. like I, I'm a buddy of mine went to one, and he was a uh, he was a. Uh, uh, Snapchatting the halftime show oh, uh-huh. and fucking Chris Angel was doing a fucking stunt during halftime. <laughs> no way. The halftime of the Raiders game. I was what cracking up, bro. <laughs> That's the most fucking Vegas thing. Dude, Dude, it really up, is. Though. He was up oh, in the God. ceiling, fucking yeah. like unchaining himself from like a, a vest. <laughs> oh, so like, Chris Angel. Uh, they're gonna oh, have the blue, the blue men there. Every hey, everybody that was like thirty years old and above was excited as fuck for Chris Angel. <laughs> but all the twenty year olds were like, "Who the fuck what is the fuck this guy? Is this fucking dude?" <laughs> yeah, they was excited for that as hell. Yeah, so I don't know. Like, it, it's cool that Vegas has a team, but I don't, I don't really know if it's a football city. If you can consider it a football city, right? Like, it's, no, Vegas is just like a fucking. It's a sports city. Like all the sports books are always booked there. Like yeah. when you go, yeah. Like I, when I was living there, especially like of age, like I'd go every fucking Sunday. Me and my dad would get there early because we knew that there was gonna be no seats if you didn't get there early at uh-huh. the sports book. Even yeah. just the local one off the strip. Right. There's just people there. They're there to watch the sports, bet on the sports and shit like that. So it's a sports city. And so we never yeah. we, we didn't have that luxury here. We had right. either uh, if we're not of age, you know what I mean yeah. we'd have to go to somebody's house or something. Yeah. But we got sports bars, so like they, they even use the sports book as a right. place to go and watch yeah, go the watch game and shit. That's and where most people in oh, okay. Vegas go to watch games. Like out here, like sports bars are the thing, right? Yeah. If you have your fantasy drafts and shit like right, that, sports right. bar or whatever. But not out there, it's this fucking sports bookies. Unless you That's know, pretty dope. Yeah, probably probably people that aren't of age do go to like a, I don't know, like a fucking restaurant or a sports yeah, bar. Yeah, that'd be in. pretty fucking tight to yeah, experience but, some shit like that. Yeah, but a sports really would. Bar, fucking legit. The fu- Actually, you know, one of the funniest, <laughs> I just thought about this, one of the funniest fucking, it wasn't, I guess it wasn't that funny, but it was crazy. Uh-huh times I had at the sports book was during the Super Bowl. Uh-huh. So it was the Seahawks Patriots Super Bowl. Mm-hmm. And so a few years back and I went down there to go watch the game with my dad. And my dad at the time was working at the Venetian uh, Hotel and Casino as the mm-hmm. maintenance man. Uh-huh. And so he was working that day but he'd come and like check in on the game while I'm watching it and type shit. And so I'm sitting there and there's like hella Boston uh, pa- uh, uh, New England Patriots fans. Yeah. Right? Hella dudes from Boston there and they're fucking just getting drunk and yeah. drinking, you know. Bunch of Peter Graff. <laughs> exactly. Uh... And uh, there's a bunch of people in Seattle shit and, you know, there were like a lot of Asians. <laughs> a lot of Asians. <laughs> was it split yeah, though? It was, was split, it favored? <laughs> no, it was, it, was, it, was pretty, it was pretty split. There wasn't like a, I wouldn't say there was a, a more fans than the other. Yeah. But bro, like the Seahawks fans were getting loud mm-hmm. and the Boston fans, you could tell they were getting pissed off, right? Yeah. And when that fucking 
second interception happened. Yeah. To, to win the uh, game. Malcolm Butler? Yeah, yeah. Malcolm Butler yeah. did that interception. Yeah. Bro, the fucking Patriots fans lost it. Yeah, they I started bet throwing they did. Bo- beer bottles at the fucking Seahawks fans. Yeah. Yeah. That's how you fucking win a Super Bowl. That's, That's how, how you, you win. They're all fucking throwing yeah. tar and feathers throwing, at them. Uh, beer I, bottles, bro. I would have loved it. I fucking Se- hate the secu- Seahawks. Yeah. yeah. Security had to come in and like separate some people because they were just talking shit. But at least the Boston fans, I can say this, they waited till the game was over before they started talking a bunch of shit. Right. Because the Seahawks fans were just yapping at him like, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah you know, oh, Tom Brady this, Tom Brady that, you know, and, and the fucking Boston fans were watching the game. Uh-huh. But as soon as that shit was over and that fucking touch, that uh, interception sealed the game, yeah. they went crazy. <laughs> yeah. They went wild. Hell bro. yeah, that's, 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 that's dope. That's dope. I think watching the game over there at the sports book would, would I don't know, it would be crazy because a lot of emotions are involved. I know wow. Paul and I, when we went to the uh, Wilder Fury fight, yeah. we went and placed a bet. And... There were some dudes that had bet on, I, I don't know, Alabama. I think they're their only loss that they had this year. We, we were there at the sports club. Oh, oh, so yeah. they were fucking pissed. Yeah. That's <laughs> like, up. it's just so many emotions right. in that oh, one yeah. fucking it spot. Is, yeah. it's not, they're not just invested. They got their money invested. They got their money, money invested. In it, it's, almost, it's almost <laughs> like being live at the event. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like that, that's the only Super Bowl that I felt like, I was like, oh, shit, this is, this is probably what it feels like to kind of be at a Super Bowl, right? Right, right. Because it was so fucking popping and shit. Yeah. But we should gotta go. We should fucking go we, down. We should. For, it really uh, does sound fun. You know, playoff or even the Super Bowl. Might as well go down there for the Super Bowl. This yeah, that would be intense. Yeah, that'd be intense. I was, go yeah. to the sports. I wonder book, how bro. it would be going to like the uh, the Windover one. I mean, I, it probably might not I've be as that fun. Too. But like, I've I, done the Windover one years to, ago. I've been wanting to like go place bets on a couple games. You know, because yeah. really yeah, though, yeah. like parlaying, doing shit like that. The parlays are fun. You know, a lot more. I got a. I'm a name drop, but my cousin Joe Lopez. Uh, we used to do the parlays, mm-hmm. and that was fun, but it's scary addicting. You know what I mean? It's scary addicting. Because yeah. you sit here and you say, oh, okay, if I win 5000 we're walking away right. twenty five each. You know what right. I mean? Oh, yeah. And fuck no. You're like, no, let's let's throw right. another fucking six-game parlay yeah. in there. <laughs> yeah. You know, throw the whole five on it. You know what yeah. I mean? We're hot, you know, right. and fuck, come out with nothing. We got all the favorites. So yeah, like, got all the favorites. What could go wrong? What could go wrong? Yeah. What could go wrong? Caught my lucky boxers on. Right. Bro, you yep. remember when we were in uh, Vegas all with our all our friends, like our group of friends yep. went down there and we fucking went and bet on, it was a, and it was March Madness, I think, right? Yeah. The NCAA yep. college basketball tournament was going on and we all took, I think Syracuse, we all yeah. took Syracuse because we were like, oh, they're, I can't remember who they were playing, but we were like, oh, it's, they're going to fucking beat the shit out of them. We fucking all placed the same bet. Some people had like hella money on it. Some of us had, you know, maybe 50, 60 bucks on it. Yeah. But we were all watching it in the hotel room, bro, getting drunk. And they did really good in the first half, mm-hmm. and then the second half they just lost the game, <laughs> lost the game. And one of our homeboys, not gonna name drop, but one of our homeboys was sick to his stomach because yeah, he put bro. like three bills on that shit, and he was just fucking pillow over his face, like, "Are you fucking kidding That's me?" That's terrible. I put his Vegas fucking, fucking trip was ruined, bro. I remember he was even like sad to go out that yeah. night. I don't even know if yeah. he went out that he, night. I don't with think us, he bro. did. I was we're like all, thinking about yeah. it. Like, that would put a damper in it yeah. because, like, like you yeah. said, it's so many emotions, right. and I can only imagine how it feels out there in Vegas. Because on here on Sundays at my fucking right. little home, right. you know, what I mean, I'm fucking sweating over the five dollars. I just bet it with us on <laughs> yeah, our fantasy, right. yeah. and our, my Cowboys could be winning. I don't give right. a fuck if I'm not even yeah. winning in fantasy. Right. Right. You know, like I'm, I'm ungrateful and shit. You know, <laughs> <laughs> that's funny shit. But yeah, I'm, I'm down. I'm, like I, uh, I was saying, I did the Windover one too. Um, that was a pa- the Patriots and Falcons. No, no, Patriots and uh, who the fuck did they play? The Rams. So not too long ago. Oh yeah, a couple years ago. Yeah, so yeah, that, that one I was in went over for that, and mm-hmm. it was pretty cool. It wasn't as live as Vegas, but it was still fun. Yeah, like a lot of people there. You know, a little bit louder than you would at just a regular Super Bowl party because people no. are putting money on shit. Right, right. But I love that shit. I it, really it would love be that a shit. nice. It would be yeah. nice to just to take a, a Sunday head up there in the morning. Yeah, fucking spend Sunday. Just take, out there, just take one out there. Take one out. Yeah, that'd bets. be pretty cool. Play some bets. Come back sad or happy, bro. You got a dispenser out there too, <laughs> so I'd be all right. See you guys. End the live, guys. Yep. But yeah, what other what other sports topics we want to touch on? And you know, well, so. I know not too many people like soccer, but mm-hmm. I do got to say this. Real Salt Lake is in the Western Conference Finals. Yep. Okay. So if they, they're they playing Portland right now, we're watching. They're, they're yeah. down. But uh, yeah, dude, if they if they come out on top, man, another another finals trip for Real, for Real and and, yeah. and just just like the Utes, I mean the the Real season wasn't wasn't a guarantee to where they were going to be at. They're a seventh seed right now. Seventh seed, yeah. You know, and then Western wasn't finals. it Kansas that they needed to be at the end of the season? Yeah. And and I I don't I didn't even think they anybody even gave them a shot to beat Kansas. Oh, right. Yeah. yeah, and they went in there, they took care of business like the Utes, kind of did quietly. Under the radar really type quiet, shit. bro. Not a lot of people in Utah know that they're even in the <laughs> they conference. They don't. Conference. They really yeah. don't. Yeah. 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 So yeah. it's. Yeah, I think I think they're going to really realize it once they have their home game here, which is, should be in a couple days. Yeah. That's, so that's going to be that's pretty tight. tight so that would be cool. 
shit, how long has it been since they've won the championship? Because they have Back won in MLS the Galaxy. Cup, right? 2000. Oh, man, I had just seen it like 2009 or something like that. Okay. Uh, I, I, could, know, I, I know, know I'm like, probably wrong, yeah. Within their first couple of years of being here, yeah. right, they won the title. That's yeah, because they was making jokes about them getting a pro shit right. before <laughs> Jazz did and shit. Yep, I remember yeah. that. Yeah. <laughs> Which, I mean, shit, it's true. They fucking, they have the only, like, quote unquote world championship for Utah. Yeah, they do. The, you know, MLS Cup. The Fuck fucking... <laughs> Bro, I, I really want the Jazz to win one, but... With it's today, with today's so hard. today's league is it's just it's we, tough. Yeah, we had our opportunity in the nineties. Yeah, know what I mean, too bad we ran into God Himself in yeah. a twenty three jersey. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, it sucks because I talk about this all the time. Like I've always had to defend the Jazz mm-hmm. to people who are fans of sports teams that yeah. win. Yeah, right. Yeah. Like we all know, like a lot, especially here in the West Coast, like a lot of Lakers fans, a lot of Laker fans. Um, but even I have friends that like are Spurs fans. Yeah. You know what I mean, or or fans of teams that actually win. I got to continue to defend the Jazz. Like you have to. <laughs> yeah. You have but, to. It's our but, Jazz. But, but we're, I just now that we have new ownership, maybe mm-hmm. now that we have new ownership, it's possible. It, it's a possibility. It's possible. Yeah. Um, but, but I'm, I'm to I'm the just tired I'm of them to, getting I'm, deep yeah. in the playoffs and losing. Yeah, that's why. That's why I'm to the point <laughs> where it's like you got to you got to show me something mm-hmm. now. Last 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 season we had one of the best seasons that any team could fucking have. Right. You know what I mean from behind the arc yep. and, and and even even uh, record wise. Yeah. And I mean look look what happened. Yep. You know we yep. lost to the Clippers and that, and that game was set up for us to now Donnie might have been not not have been a hundred percent but we had everyone back for that right. game. And yep. we have fucking Terrence Mann come over there and fucking <laughs> fuck us up. Fuck us up. You know what yeah. I mean? There's always that one person. You know what I mean? That one person like JJ Reddick or fucking mm. Barrera. You know what <laughs> I mean? Yep. Like it's gonna come in there it's and just tear just our ass up. up. Yep. Fucking annoying. Yeah. Fucking fuck, annoying. Yeah. It fucking sucks. <laughs> but we got we just got a big win against Boston. That was you know, cool, yeah, yeah, we beat Portland at the beginning of the of the week. So, you know, we get something going. And I, I think a lot of things a lot of a lot of people ain't talking about Rudy Gobert's shot. Uh-huh. Well, in that Portland game. I think he was like six for eleven. Oh yeah, from the field. Oh, yeah, you know yeah. what I mean, and that that's, that's buckets right. for him. Yeah, that would extend our. I would extend his game and our floor game if he really can get that shot going. Yeah, right. okay. you remember when Al, yeah. when we had Al Jefferson yeah. and Memo Kerr? <laughs> yep, stretched the floor so much. Money, yep. oh, money memo. Yeah, money memo yeah. was a fucking unique dude, man, because he was a power forward and he could shoot that three like no he could. other. At he the could. Time. The you know Jazz I mean? just find those fucking diamonds in the rough, bro. Like, <laughs> they do. Gordon Gerichek. Gordon Gerichek. Like, Joe Ingles, too, right now. He's a fucking baller, bro. Mm-hmm. And, like, he's one of those players that, like, nobody's looking so out for. Overlooked, like, him. <laughs> overlooked him. You overlooked him. And he's just out there and quietly you, and, doing his thing. You gotta add Andre Karolinko onto that fucking list, too. Oh, for sure. You know, because yeah. nobody else was gonna give right. that dude a fucking shot. And he, right. And he Fuck. fucking held it down for years. Held here, it in, down. Like, yeah. Held Utah. it down. And I thought it was cool that the Jazz gave him enough respect, even when he was going through his injured years. To still have him on the team, yeah. A lot right. of fans were pissed because they're like, "Oh, we're just paying for him to be on the bench." Right. But he fuck, he did work. a lot for us. Yeah. <laughs> did a lot for us. When mm-hmm. fucking Malone went to the Lakers and talked and retired, yeah. Like everybody thought Greg Ostertag was gonna be the guy, right? Right. And right. Fucking Kirilenko stepped out of the shadows that and shadows. just became the guy. Some weird lanky <laughs> looking dude. <laughs> he just became the guy. He became yeah. the fucking dude for at least a couple seasons. And even mm-hmm. on those like really popular and, and good early two thousands Jazz teams, like yeah, oh like, six to oh nine era. Yeah. Karolinko was a big part of those teams. Was. You know what I mean? Even he though was. we had like Boozer, we had Darren Williams, we had like all those other players, Kyle Korver and shit mm-hmm. like that. Karolinko was like the veteran on the team. He was the vet. We needed and him we there. We needed him for some clutch fucking plays. He yeah. Offense and defensive clutch was like, and, yeah. and he always <laughs> did. He always did. Defense, yep. it was a guarantee. If we needed to stop, he was going to fucking get it. You know? It was, <laughs> he was pesky, bro. He was pesky <laughs> as fuck. People pesky. would hate him. God, just when he'd move his right fucking bangs out of his face. <laughs> Motherfucker was pesky. Yeah. Oh, Jeez. Man. And, and then what makes that even cooler is him and his fucking wife are swingers. Right. Yeah, yeah. They're another fucking Jada and you Will. Know, you know how those Ruskies do it. You know what's messed up? We th- I don't mean to go off topic, yeah. but you know we'd sit here and think about Jada and Will. And I remember hearing that they were swingers, and I, I just kind of giggle about it because poor fucking Will was forcing himself to do that <laughs> oh, yeah. shit. Want that's shit, bro. fucked up. Bro, that's why he's doing so much shit right now. That's yeah. why he does all the all the work he does. Yeah, he has to get away. He has to get away. <laughs> could from you that shit. could you imagine having to be forced to do so much shit like that that you right, can't even right. handle an orgasm? Right. You know what I mean, like it made him sick to have an orgasm after. Damn it. Jesus he was Christ. Too much sex, he said. Jay does a yeah. fucking animal. Bro, it's crazy. You know what's wild is um, there's a lot of uh, females, especially like I would say younger. Right in the younger demographic, that uh-huh. that shit's normal to them now. They expect a relationship like that. Yeah. Like, uh, yeah. There's this one uh, chick that I, I started following on IG because I heard her on a podcast, mm-hmm. and she teaches women to be more open to mm-hmm. threesomes because mm-hmm. she says that's what like saved her relationship. 
was stop being jealous and like open the relationship up. Yeah. Because she's like, because there's sometimes that I'm just not sexually attracted to my man. Yeah. But I love him and I want to be with him and he has needs. He's a man. Mm -hmm. She goes, so once I got over that, I opened the relationship up. He was able to have sex with other women and I would okay. join in sometimes too. Okay. It's like, and it, it made our relationship okay. better. <laughs> yeah. And so, like, so, I mean, it was, I thought, I thought it was another guy that got involved and shit, you know? Oh, yeah. yeah no. I thought it was another guy that She's got involved. I mean, I should probably involved. get to that point though. But I mean, <laughs> but, and, but see, in my eyes were like, if you, if you really have to fucking let your old man fuck somebody else, just cause you ain't fucking pleasing him, you, you gotta have to go skip the yard on that one. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Like why even stick around for right. some shit yeah. like that? Yeah. That's, that's, that's true. Fuck, that's fucking weird. Yeah. That's to me. It's that a, to it, me, it, that's weird. Yeah, and especially like our uh, our fucking demographic, I guess, how we grew up, right? Yeah, we we still were in that time where like it's one woman, one man, which it should be. Yeah, I, you know, I agree. Right, with that right. Too. I'm not I'm homophobic, not but you know, yeah. what I mean, that's 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 just how it was. You yeah, know what I mean, and, and, but now it's it's wide open, bro. Like it's wide open. Wide as open. Hell. People are even more open now. Um, shit, I mean. If you really, like do look at the fucking history and stuff like that, mm-hmm. like the ancient Greco Romans, like the right. Greco Roman Empire, they were all fucking um, orgies. And yeah, shit like they that. were all and orgies. And it didn't matter, men and men, right. women and women, right. women, men, women. Didn't know? like even yeah. Game of Thrones. Didn't Game Game yeah. of Thrones didn't they even show gay shit? Yeah, it didn't. And yeah. I think that that badass series, the mm-hmm. uh, Vikings. Oh yeah, uh-huh. I never yeah. Seen they that. they show they show gay shit in that yeah, too. You know what it. I mean? And it's it's you know I mean to each his own. You know what I mean? Right. But, I don't know. <laughs> Just don't hit on me. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> it's going to be hard to kind of, I don't know, change society. I know you mentioned this one lady. She's trying to push that narrative. Yeah. But, you know, like, I don't know, in, just in different areas. Like, I, th- I think it's going to go state by state or, yeah. you know, Utah's more conservative. Yeah. Right. Where it's going to be a harder thing to push to, to these Mormon women. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You know, it, like, especially, hey, if like, especially if, like, Provo and Oro. But, but Salt Lake's pretty liberal. <laughs> so that's true. There's yeah, a are. lot of people Maybe out there. I should. Yeah, yeah. Now that I'm thinking about it, maybe I should. Be there are a lot of rainbowed flags when you go out to Salt Lake yeah. and go yeah. to the Salt neighborhoods Lake. and shit. That's I think true. people would be surprised. Like, because th- people think of Utah, and they uh-huh. think of like the Mormon Church and stuff right. like that, right? But I think people would be surprised if they came like their first time to Salt Lake and they seen how diverse Salt Lake is, right? Right. With like sexuality and yeah. st- just it's shit overall. It, it probably is. shock a lot of people. It's diverse as fuck. Yeah. A lot when a lot of people hear right. Utah, they they really don't they think of Mormons first off. Yeah. You know what I mean? But they don't they don't think of it being so diverse as it is. But it's mm-hmm. diverse as fuck. Super diverse. Yeah. Well, how do you guys feel about the whole fucking? Um, like what is it, the binary or binary, or oh, whatever okay. the cho- the gender choosing? Right. You know I mean, you don't know yeah. what gender yeah, you like are. Gender fluid or whatever. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, yeah, I'm all for everyone right. having their own, you know, their own category that they want to stick to and shit. But when when you're not, you can't decide whether you're a male or a female or don't have a preference to either a male or right. female. I mean, that shit's just making it kind of difficult. <laughs> yeah, you know yeah. I mean? it, it is. And um, I don't know, like you know, like you said, to each their own. But I just think that people shouldn't make like huge changes to their life or their body mm-hmm. until they're at least like of age, right? Right. Like maybe 25 or something. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because now it's so popular that people who are just confused, they don't know. Like there's, I think, I feel like there's people that know for sure mm-hmm. they're gender fluid or they're, or they're binary or whatever. Right? right. They know for sure. Like they don't identify as either one. Right. Um, but then there's people who are confused or don't know yet. They yeah. think, well, maybe I kind of lean more towards this sometimes, but I lean towards male more times. You know? Right. And they don't know. And then they make, but they make the change. Right. One over the other, and they and and then they go a couple years and like, fuck, I didn't want to do this. Why did I do this? <laughs> Just like getting a tattoo at a young age. I've said right. that before. She's, he's all sitting there bent <laughs> over, getting fucking hammered. Now he's all fuck. Yeah. <laughs> I shouldn't have done this. <laughs> fucking ass hurts. I mean, shit. Uh, Caitlyn Jenner kept his kept her dick. Yeah, that is true. And she still likes women. Swinging and banging. Yeah, she still likes women. <laughs> that's weird, huh? That's weird. Mm. Yeah. I don't yeah, know, man. That's, that's her life, baby. But, I, um, but yeah, there's some people who I think, like, they know. Like, they, I mean, I know some people, then they say when they come out of the womb, like, they know what they are. Like, right. you know, yeah. if it's a guy, and they're like, I felt like I was a woman the entire time. Right, yeah. right. You know, in those situations, like, yeah, of course, maybe wait till you're 18 or yeah. whatever. Yeah, yeah, And I don't even know, like, what the laws are, like, as far as, like, getting surgery and stuff. Like, yeah, you know, know, like, the parents sign shit. on that shit. Like, yeah, a parent could probably like, sign Like, if that's even okay. Like, right. Yeah. <laughs> like, through the state and shit, right. you know? Like, I, yeah. who knows, man? Like, right. And, and I'm sure that shit's pretty expensive, too, so you can't be a right. broke... <laughs> you can't be broke <laughs> doing that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Which yeah, kind of sucks, to... right? Like, it's, yeah, it does it's suck. It's privileged. You yep. have a kind of privilege to, it's a, right. to it's go a, through that change. It's a uniquely, like, first world thing, too, because <laughs> yes. you know it's only, like, in America or places where there's money, where this is, like, going on, and people yeah. have this type of, like, the Motherfuckers identity ain't churches dicks into vaginas <laughs> in Africa. Yeah. No, it's shit. You go to a third world country, I guarantee they're like, um, yeah, of course, like... 
this is my wife. I'm a man. Like, uh, right. Yeah, you know? What are you talking about? <laughs> yeah. 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 But out here we got Fuck. so much liberty, so many freedoms and shit like that. People just find just a way to change be free. Whatever they, the hell yeah, Americans they so. find a way to be like more fucking, well, I want to be this now. You know? <laughs> <laughs> this is the episode of South Park where they, uh, this was years ago. It's funny how fucking mm. in the future those guys can see That's whatever. wild. But these, they were talking about um, people uh, changing races. Remember Kyle changed to be black? <laughs> oh, yeah. He <laughs> fucking got his knees extended yeah. so he can play basketball. Yeah, so can and his, play da- basketball. his dad, his dad became a fucking dolphin because he always wanted to be a dolphin. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember that one. Yeah, I don't remember watching He's that one. He's got surgery to become funny. a dolphin. That shit's funny. I identify funny. as a dolphin awesome. now. <laughs> <laughs> and then that's what it is. I mean, if, if l- let's not put any shackles on anything. Mm. Let's identify to be anything we fucking want. Yeah, it's, it's the way it's going and shit. Who knows how long it's going to go for. I mean, you know, more power to the people out there who, who actually... You know, like mm-hmm. you said, they were born a certain assigned a certain sex. Then they were like, "No, I felt like I was the other sex the whole time." Right. And they change it, and they are right. who they are. They're living out in the open as mm-hmm. as a person they feel like inside. Yeah. More power to them. Right. You know what I mean? And it's um, nerve wracking because we got kids coming up in this shit. Yeah. It's so it's, we don't even know if we're gonna have to deal with it as parents. Right. You know what I mean? Yep. Like the, the these kids are so spontaneous, and you know how we were when we were kids. Like our parents knew about us, but we didn't want them to know everything about us. Right. So in the mm-hmm. back of my mind, that always. Is like always in the back of my mind, like, oh shit, what's my kid gonna keep from me? Right. Type shit. You know what I mean? <laughs> yep. It's gonna be it's something so because we did it. Yep, it's so true, bro. You know, and, and our parents did it. Yeah. You know, and we thought we was slick when we was doing it when our parents didn't already been did mm-hmm. that shit. You know? Well, it's so true. And it's crazy because, like, like my, you know, we all have kids here. We're all fathers here. That's, and um, when, when I, my boy is a straight boy. Like, yeah. he, mm-hmm. he, he fucking does boy stuff. He's right. a boy through and through. Right. I had to try to, I had to teach him not to, like, um, have like certain prejudices against people uh-huh. who are transgender and stuff because he does see that shit at yeah, school. Yeah, yeah. You know, even because like, it's, there's it's teachers, out there. yeah. There's even teachers who are transgender and stuff like that. Yeah, and he's gonna he sees it. Or he's, he has seen it, and he like you know makes a comment about him like, well, son, you can't judge them. Yeah, you know what I mean. But I don't know how would I mean. I always felt like the kids I grew up with that I knew were gay. I felt like I knew they were gay. Yeah. Oh even, yeah. Even before they knew they were gay. Yeah. Or for even sure. Before they were comfortable coming out. For sure. Right. I've gone to school with a couple people who. Ended up being Same. gay later in life. Same. You know what I mean? Same. And you just always knew. Yeah. You we always, always knew. knew. We yeah. always knew. Even without them saying it, they, they didn't come out the out the closet yet, right? Yeah. You, just, you just knew. And and the kids that we went to school, the mm-hmm. kids that we went to school with, they we weren't ever disrespectful to them. Right. And everybody knew. Yeah. Everybody knew. So mm-hmm. I thought I thought like being adults and shit, like right. I'll I'll go to IG and I'll be like, that's dope. Because yeah. they, they're they're able to embrace yeah. who they were yeah. and yeah. I, I got to see them grow up to kind of like somewhat hide that right you know what i'm saying yeah, or like yeah, kind yeah. of see them not play with us right and just you right. can see that they want to be a part yeah. but they really don't know how yeah and yeah. we i mean that would suck as a kid oh, to yeah. fucking have to deal with that you know so Hell now yeah. to see them like actually not giving a fuck what people think right. or just finally being accepted yeah you know that's that's dope it is that's yeah. dope. let me ask you guys this so like this this week this past week there's a the school shooting mm-hmm. like oh, um yeah, yeah, yeah. you know with the with the kid i don't know if you he was just, yeah, he had some shit going on with himself. Like, right. Um, back in our day, though, like, did you guys, I don't know, it seems like nowadays it's happening more often. Like, mm-hmm. I don't know, like, you know, how you kind of said, like, you were cool with the gay person. You yeah. guys were good, integrated with each other. Right. You guys can all live together. Like, now I wonder if that's kind of changing a little bit. Like, if kids are, are making a stand, and maybe it could be their parents, because now, like, mm-hmm. their parents are seeing this, sh- yeah. seeing, seeing some stuff on TV, like, oh, you know, you know, I don't know the LGBT, you know stuff, and, right. and maybe they're against it. So exactly. now their kids are learning to be against yeah, it. Where, yeah. where with right. us, like, I don't know how my parents would have reacted mm-hmm. if they would have seen something like that on TV. But it wasn't right. really on TV, so like, right. Right. that really was never in question. Yeah, like, um, you know, so it was never a thing that I had to pick a side on. Right. So exactly. I was always, I as a kid, you know, you 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 choose love all the time. Yeah, Fuck yeah. yeah. So right. I don't know. It seems like, maybe I don't know. It seems like them pushing that agenda mm-hmm. to people. Yeah. And I don't know, it seems like people are just trying to fight that back now and they're fighting yeah. it in a real in a real extreme way. Yeah. Where they their are. kids are yeah. coming against them. And well that's a really schools. that's a really good point. Yeah. That's a really good point you made because it's true, like in our like when we were growing up, right, it wasn't really on TV. Yeah. You didn't really see that shit on TV. Right. Except for like certain movies or certain shows where yeah. that was like you know, Columbine. Had, yeah. That was the only thing. Yeah, or, or they had like a gay character, you yeah. know, or something like that. And then that's the only time you knew like, okay, this show has that, right? Mm-hmm. But yes. now it's like, it's all included and, and it's everywhere. And parents who are super like, conservative, quote unquote, right? They get upset at that. Right. The kid sees that they're upset at that. So they're like, okay, my parents are upset at this. I should be upset at this yeah. too. 
and they become even more upset about it. Right. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's just like racism. So, it's it's yeah. taught. It's, it's taught. taught. Yep. It's a, you know, it's a it really behavior. is. It's taught. Like the, like that kid said. You know, I feel. I mean, just looking at his parents, and you never want to judge a book by its cover, mm-hmm. but um, you just looking at his parents, you could see that they don't mean well. Right. You know what I'm saying? You could just tell <laughs> yeah. that they don't mean you well. Just tell. You know, the the fucking son had the same cock in his eye that the dad did. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, and it's yeah. like, what the fuck? All, like, all three of them are happy to be locked all up. All three of them were like, yeah, let's do it. Did you see that shit though? Like on their face. I was reading that story just today right about yeah because you know the, they went on the run for a little bit yeah yeah or tried, took yeah, out four yeah, thousand dollars of the atm like and shit and they got found they got found in detroit right in, in a detroit. fucking warehouse yeah. and detroit's just a few miles away from <laughs> toronto so <laughs> people were saying well they're probably trying to go to canada because they can't be extradited if they go to canada right, right. Yeah. and they're and then they get caught and they, they're now in jail and they're like oh we weren't on the run we just wanted to have at least uh, some time to ourselves before we turned ourselves in <laughs> bullshit <laughs> bullshit yeah. bullshit it's like it's crazy they're like a lot of people disagree with them getting charged for manslaughter, uh, but yeah. they gave the kid the gun. Yeah, it, it was I, the dad's early gun. Christmas present. Yeah, yeah, it's the dad's Bro. gun registered in the dad's name. Yeah. They gave it to him, and then uh, based on what I've read, they they knew that he had the tendency towards violence. Yeah, right? see, that's and that's, that he kind of had like. A, it needs a tendency it, it needs it needs dudes. to happen more to the kids that are doing shit like this. They need to check the parents too. Mm-hmm. Like you know what I mean. All these yeah. kids that's done the Sandy Hook shit. Like right. go check their fucking parents too, yeah. and yeah. go see if, if if it really was like if they really were brought up in that type of right. shit. Yeah, you know what I mean because. Who the fuck gives their kid a fucking gun right. with no intentions to go hunting? Yeah. I I know some people right. that, that have yeah. kids for their for their yeah. child, but yeah. it, they're in their fucking gun safe yeah. that the child don't have the key to. Right. Yes. And you know what I'm it, saying? Yeah, and it and only, only comes out go, in fucking like, October and fucking right. shit to go fucking hunting. Right. Yes. You know, and that's and that that shit's just wild. And I I think it should it should fucking happen more. Right. You know, like you say, a family that prays together, they eat together. Yep. So mm-hmm. they can go and have that fucking tray. That's true. You know what I mean? That's fuck them. Yeah. That's yep. That's fucked up. You know, did you guys see the video? I think you. I think I seen you like it on Instagram where he was trying to lure him out of the classroom. Yeah, and he's like, and he's like, no, really? just come to the door, bro. I'll yeah. show you my ID. And they're like, no. He said, bro, right. that's yeah. not a cop. Yeah. He was trying to say he was a cop. Yeah, what the fuck? Yeah, yeah. he's like, just come out, just come out of the door. Yeah. You know what I mean? And they're like, no, yeah. we're not gonna risk that right now. That's crazy. Bro. And it's like, dude, you're not right. I mean, you could just see it. He's not right in the fucking yeah. head. But yeah, I think the parents should be held accountable more for 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 the children. Yeah. Right. You know, for the children, because if your yeah. child don't go to school yeah. here. The state of Utah, right? You know, I mean, they come knocking on your door, and you got to go to court yeah. and say, "Why ain't your child? Yep. Why ain't your child making exactly. it to school?" Yep. Yes. So, I mean, I, I thought I thought America went the right right route right on that, that. You know, yeah, it's true that they should be held accountable to at least some extent because, I mean, like I said, they gave him the fucking gun. Right. They gave him the gun. Who that does he used. that? Yeah, at least like with even with the Columbine kids, like they stole the guns. Yeah, the dad they had stole them locked the guns. Up. You're right. Yeah, the dad had them locked up. They fucking stole the guns. They right. got into the the safe without them knowing, and then they went and did what they did. You know what I mean? Yeah. But this guy, the kid, fucking parents gave him the gun. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Like, what do you guys? How do you think? Do you think the schools need to like step up too in this situation? Because I know like. Yeah, people that are for take take their guns, you right, know, right. which I don't think that's the right way to go. Yeah, but you know, like I don't know. I think it's like, like it sucks. Going to my son's school, like I could just w- open that door and walk right in. Like yeah. you could, it's crazy. You could, like, you like, could. I mean, haven't we learned especially, by now? Like, yeah. let's fucking. Well, I mean, especially right especially here in Utah, because mm-hmm. um, out in out in Las Vegas, mm-hmm. they have metal detectors. Oh, so yeah. when you walk in, there's metal detectors, and there's an armed guard. Yeah, there's mm-hmm. an armed security guard mm-hmm. right there checking backpacks and shit. Right, and that's something that we don't see here. We don't see here. We don't. Yeah. We just don't see that here in Utah. You know what I mean? But it's true. Like it's kind of scary at sometimes because anybody can walk in those doors. Right, they anybody can. can walk in and go in and and you know these the faculty and stuff don't know all the parents. They don't know all the uncles. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Yeah. And some of them might have like a check in process now, especially nowadays. Right. Like COVID. And it's shit a little like bit that. more stiff and but shit. You could just fucking walk in. If you yeah. Want let's to. look at like you went to Mount Fort, right? Yeah. Mount Fort. Like let's let's think about that. Where's yeah. the office at to the front door, bro? <laughs> you gotta cross the lunch. Yeah. Like, like, you you, you gotta wait. You can really go. You can really you, go the, in. You and can walk into Mount Fort and literally hook a right, go around and take that back door that takes you into the other halls. Yeah. You don't even have to go to the office. Don't have to go to the office. They won't even you, see you. They won't even see you. And those it's classrooms weird. that are right there, when you first walk into Mount Fort, don't even yeah. have window access to be like, oh, who's that guy? Right. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. And it's crazy because it's almost like you want to be like, okay, maybe we should get these teachers armed. But mm-hmm. then again, I'm like, no, that ain't a good idea neither because these yeah. kids are fucking bad. You know what I mean? Yes. These kids are fucking bad. Yeah. You know, and, and when I and when I was there, I used to remember I seen a teacher rip up an encyclopedia and 
throw it, you know what I mean? Right. But and could imagine, you know, this teacher who's armed, right. you know, get pissed off <laughs> yeah. and end up shooting oh, one of yeah. these motherfuckers. One so when I think about that, yeah, <laughs> yeah, when I think about that, I'm like, nah, that's not a good idea. Yeah. What the fuck can we do to fucking, yep. you know what I mean? Like, right. Fuck, yeah. I guess the only thing that, that maybe is just have a fucking armed security guard at every school. Armed, you know, they, like in high school, they had the it's police me- officer. Yeah. There, right? It's metal. Sure de- like the only thing, the only, the only thing, yeah. only th- way I could see it stopping is just metal detectors in every school. Yeah. yeah. You're not going to get anything right. in with the metal detector unless you like talk it over right. the fence or something, you know. Yeah. And they and they have that in big in big cities, you know. What I mean, like I said, um, in Vegas they have it, and mm-hmm. of course, like New York and stuff like that. Right. I just seen a um, what was it? So Snapchat has like those um, videos where they do on like gangs and stuff. You guys seen that? Yeah. So mm-hmm. they had one for this uh, this Crip gang in, in New York. Uh-huh. I can't remember what part of New York is. I think it's probably Marcy or something. But the girl was showing her, showing the person doing the filming, like her high school. Uh-huh. She's like, "These are the metal detectors right here, right? You know, and they're right in the front of the school, right?" So big cities have that, and I just thought about this: it's always the little cities that have this fucking school shooting shit. Yeah, it is. Yes. Columbine yeah, it was is. in Colorado. Yeah. Fucking Sandy Hook was, you know, out northeast in some small town. Yeah. And uh, what's what's another big one? I was just thinking about. Um, I can't even. think But of it. they're all the small towns, bro. Even this one that last just happened. It was in Michigan. Yeah. It was right. In Michigan, a little yeah. small town in mm-hmm. Michigan. It was. It's these little small town ones where the communities are like, oh well, we're so small, we're so tight knit, it can't happen here. It's yeah, happening there. It does. So yeah, we it should. Does. I have metal detectors <laughs> in every does. school. Every it school, does. even the uh-huh. small town schools, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, we're, we're human beings. We're a weird species. Yep. Like, it, it happens everywhere you go. Mm-hmm. I don't give a fuck who you are, what city you live in. The weird shit happens. We're humans. Humans right. are fucking weird. Yep. Yeah. We're fucking weird. Yep. So, metal detectors in every school. It's got to go. Yeah, yeah, for sure, brother. Yeah. For sure. <laughs> That's just crazy, man. But, um, yeah, so, shit, this week, too, what else is going on? Oh, Rihanna might be pregnant. I don't think she's who's, fully announced. Who's it. the baby daddy? Do ASAP we know? Rocky. Oh, shoot. she's with ASAP Rocky. He got. Yeah. He's the lucky man. He's, huh? a luck, he's the lucky. Bro, fucking he's the lucky man. Lucky, That's like laying right? lay that bro. seed in there, huh? Having a baby with Rihanna. That's like hitting the fucking power ball. Oh, we don't know what kind of attitude she got, though. So. <laughs> oh, we don't know what fuck. kind of attitude she got. <laughs> Uh, she no, can treat me like yeah, that. If I get to hit that a couple times, I'm a whatever. <laughs> so ASAP Rocky got Rihanna, huh? Yeah, I don't know if they. And didn't she just receive an award? I don't know. I from think her so. country or something like oh, that. Oh really? From, yeah. Think, uh, yeah, yeah, I don't know. Like just yeah. for like how high of a celebrity right. she is. Or some, some, some I don't kind even of know. Lifetime award, probably. Lifetime yeah, it was some shit, shit like that. Yeah. And I don't think they've uh, announced it yet themselves, but like it's like rumored and circulated going around that she's pregnant or whatever. Oh. And then, of course, like, females on Instagram and on social media in general like, oh, yeah, she needs a baby. Oh, give her a baby. It's like, yeah, of course you're saying that because yeah. you have, like, six child yourself. Right. You have six yeah. babies yourself, so right. you want her to feel your misery. She, you do. You do. You want, you want it to be like, oh, okay, yeah. Rihanna's miserable. It's like, like low-key hate. You know what I mean? Like, right. I, I really feel like uh, when females do that, they kind of low-key hate on their favorite celebrities. Female celebrities, yeah. right? Because career-wise, I mean, it's going to slow down her career by a whole right. lot. You know what yeah. I mean? I but, I mean, she ain't have to worry about the yeah, back being no, slowed down, though. She got, she's fucking wealthy. Oh, hell no. She's wealthy. She, yeah. could, she could fucking feed her great-grandchildren with a wealth. Yeah, yeah. she you know can. I mean? She can. Fuck. Wealthier than shit. That'd be a, a pretty, if it's a boy, handsome baby, girl, fucking uh-huh. beautiful baby, because they're both, you know, fucking good-looking people. Yeah, I'd fuck okay. ASAP. <laughs> For sure. <laughs> <laughs> For sure. Yeah, we <laughs> love ASAP. Yeah. ASAP Rocky, fuck. We Pull on love those dreads. Huh. Yeah. yeah. We love that motherfucker. Yeah, that's a trip. And what do you guys think about, um, like, the whole Kim K and uh, old Davidson thing? Oh, Pete Davidson thing? Yeah. Yeah, so I heard, I don't know, something new. Like, I heard uh, um, Kim K and Kanye were back together, though, for, like, that Virgil, uh, the dude from Off-White. Like, well, I his, noticed this. I noticed that so, uh, Davidson know, was right? over at a game yeah, during that. Himself, huh? Yeah, Yeah, he was by himself. So, I don't know. Maybe it was a fling, honestly. I think it was probably just a fling. Fling? Yeah, a little fling or yeah. something. I don't know. Yeah. We'll see. I think, yeah. Because Kanye, I don't know, he, Kanye came out and he was flat. Like, you know, I, I want yeah. my family back. Yeah, know? I want my family yeah. back. That's what he said. Like, he's seen that white boy in there, <laughs> filling that <laughs> box <laughs> up. He's like, I am He was now. filling that box up, <laughs> making her laugh. <laughs> Fuck. Ain't no pair of Yeezys can replace that. Ain't no pair of can replace that. That laughter goes a long way. Yeah, it does, man. Yeah, it does. It fuck. shout out to the ugly folks <laughs> that can make them laugh. <laughs> you know what I mean? Did you see that meme? It was a meme where it's like, it shows, because um, her, her sister, Courtney's, um, you know, messing around with a tattooed white boy. Yeah, yeah. Travis Barker. Yeah, Travis yeah. Barker. And then oh, it's like, Me- and then it's that. Megan Fox, like her, they're friends now, her and Courtney Kardashian, right. because she's with a Machine Gun Kelly. Right, they're all close white and boy. shit. And it's like, well, you know, of course Kim had to get her a fucking tattooed white boy because she wanted to 
you know, show up these two. You know what I mean? It's all about the clout. She's like, well, I got a tattooed white boy too. (laughs) Well, I mean, you never know. (laughs) You really never know. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yep. Yep. You you can't judge until I guess you try it, you know? So she had to go and try it. I bet she was packing though. He has to be packing. <laughs> Ariana because Grande. More than one date? Bro. Yeah, yeah. but well, I mean, Ariana Grande, Grande. Ariana Grande is so little, I, I feel like a 12 year old would be able to handle that. <laughs> yeah. She's fucking little as shit. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but uh, um, I don't know, man. I just feel like, and also, too, it's going to trend to all these other girls that like to follow what these celebrities do. Yeah. You know, you're going to be at the mall and you're going to start to see a lot of these fucking gym. You, these gym You're rats walking it. around with yep. these ugly ass dudes. You right. know what I mean? Yep. Like that's true. Blonde like hair. yeah, that's, just cause just cause yep. Kim's doing it. Right. Just cause yep. Kim's just cause, doing it. Just cause Kim K is doing it, bro. And all the girls are gonna want to follow. Kim yeah. K, yeah. <laughs> I mean, there's there's females out there that even talk like the Kardashians. Right. You know what they I mean? Adapted their fucking. People, uh, they adapt to it. You <laughs> know. And they're just valley girls. They're just fucking like. That's really all yeah, they are. They're just valley girls who have a a, a public stage. Yeah. Right? In the public eye, but right. when you go to California, you go to the Valley, of California, you hear a million. Bitches just talk like that. You really you do. Know? That's how they talk. <laughs> but it just made it popular. Now, made, now women yeah. from Iowa are talking like and, that. And they can release anything. It could be It could be just like, like Kanye. Yeah. He's releasing fucking clothes that you see homeless people wearing while right. in them and shit. You yeah. know, same with them. They can release anything, anything that they, they fucking want. want. You know, Kylie yeah. came up off her makeup mm-hmm. and shit, you know, but I don't know. You think they give, uh, you think they give Kim a certain percentage? Oh, everything yeah, a little clout percentage. Uh, she's like, I put you guys on. If I was Kim, I'd be like, no, I need at least 15 <laughs> no. to 20% from you she's bitches. At, she's at public, she's you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Mama, you too, oh, mom. Shit, right? yeah. Fuck back there laughing and oh, shit, you know Chris. What? Bro, speaking of that, so, so speaking of that, now Kim, because we all know how Kim K got started, right? Yeah. You know I mean, yeah. Ray, J, Ray J put her on. Yeah, you know of course, I mean? of course. Yeah, hook dick. That <laughs> <laughs> fucker was hook. Bro, I'm telling you, so I listened to, actually, um, Lauren sent me this, right? Mm-hmm. And it was a, a TikTok. This guy was doing like a deep dive on, on Kim Kardashian. Uh-huh. And so when that was going on, before the, the fucking sex tape came out, what Kim Kardashian was doing to make money uh-huh. mm-hmm. is she would call celebrities and offer to sell the clothes that are in their closets that they're not wearing anymore. Oh, okay. And she would sell them on eBay and she'd get a percentage of the clothing or clothing sales. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. But famous people, so like famous people were like whatever that time was. Interesting. Yeah, that's low key. That's so low. One of, her, one of her clients was Brandy. Right? Oh. And then she got in trouble with Brandy because she, she had that. she had sold some of the items, but Brandy let her use a credit card for something, right? Mm-hmm. And she maxed out the credit card. Mm. She maxed it out to like you know I think two hundred thousand dollars. Yeah. Like and uh, Brandy was like hitting her up about the the where's the money? Like how come did you why did you use this credit card? Like why'd you max it out? And she's like, oh well. I already know we're going to sell your your clothing, and so I'm just going to pay you back with what my percentage is from the clothing sales. Yeah. Didn't happen. Right? Didn't mm-hmm. happen. I didn't even know that. So Brandy, yeah, so Brandy was going to sue her. Brandy was going to sue her for what? that money. Chris Jenner no. got involved. This her mother. Happened, yeah, her dude. mom got involved. This is involved. exclusive yeah. fucking news right now. <laughs> her mom, her mom got involved. Shout out to this exclusive. TikTok. Yo, I don't know. I can't remember the TikToker's <laughs> name, but shout out to this, <sighs> this guy on TikTok who did this deep dive, right? Uh-huh. But um, Chris Jenner, her mom got involved. And I guess was like negotiating and shit like that with Brandy's attorney. And yeah. Stuff. Then next thing you know, Brandy's brother, Ray J, yeah. starts dating Kim Kardashian, right? Yeah. The sex tape happens. Yeah. They, they leak, leak, quote unquote, leak the sex right. tape. She makes millions, bro. Right. She made millions off that yeah. sex tape. Yeah, she did. She pays Brandy back mm-hmm. the two k two hundred k that she owes her with the right. fucking sex tape. Yeah. And then she goes on and do, does her own thing. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. She and and then if you did you guys hear about this too? That's so Nick, crazy. Nick Cannon was dating Kim Kardashian. I, I yeah. When I heard, the sex tape came out. Yeah, I heard about that. So he I he, heard about he that. He had heard it second hand. Then he seen the sex tape, and he was like, "It broke my heart because we were like getting serious." Right, right. But I think she just did it for the money. Reggie was had like, to have. "Oh yeah, you you owe my sister some money. No problem. Let's go ahead and make this yeah. sex tape real quick." Yeah, the Nick Cannon's corny ass fucking. Yeah. That's what caused yeah, that, him to have so many yeah. babies. That threw right. him off the rails. That's on the Kim. Uh, uh, Nick Cannon didn't have nothing going for him but drumline. That was why, it, man. That was like, what, 2006? And, that, and, that's, and that's cool that he made it and shit, but I was really never a fan right. of Nick Cannon's. I really wasn't. Like, I, yeah. you know, and Wild and Out, I still, like, like the people that are on Wild and Out, I fuck with, you know, I mean, this shit's yeah. all right, but I don't tune in to watch the shit or pick it to watch. Right. But, like, it, 
Could you imagine like that little behind? Could you imagine the other stories that we don't know behind the scenes right. type shit? Yeah, you know what I mean. And that's the thing because they really did. They really pulled like some dope head type shit. Right. You know what I mean. <laughs> this fucking dope head mom fucking yeah. don't have no money for her drugs, right. but she got her little daughter got over little here. Daughter over here. Yeah. Doing so let's go and do this. They did some rich fucking dope head <laughs> shit. You know what I mean? Dope head shit. Yeah. Hashtag rich dope head. Shit. <laughs> rich dope head shit, man. That, that's, that's, and that's yeah. and then and then supposedly <laughs> Wack One Hundred got the right. got the other lost video. Right. Oh, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah. And supposedly. He conversated with right. Kanye said, about it and yeah, shit. Yeah. For Kanye. I forgot about that. Kanye, Kanye, Kanye can get it. Come on here and get bro, this video off my ass. Why you gotta video. say that, bro? Yeah. Like, the kids with the woman. Like, yeah. yeah. That's kind of some corny shit. Bro. It really <laughs> is. Wack 100 gets me, bro. He's yeah. fuck. You know what I mean? Yeah. He's he's too much. He's too fucking much. Too yeah. much sometimes, bro. So, I, I want to change the subject. I, I um was looking online the other day and uh, I, I, I was kind of looking at that streams and stuff. I noticed... um. Bad Bunny was one of the highest. Uh, he's he has the most streams on Spotify oh, for yeah? the year twenty twenty one. Oh, and I guess this is the second year in a row, guys. How do you guys feel about like some of the Spanish music coming in? Like, I'd like to get yeah. your guys' opinion on that, bro. Because I think it's a right. it's a big market, bro. Oh, like, it is big, bro. It's right? huge because because like Bad Bunny, he can cross over, right? Yeah. So he has mm-hmm. music with hip hop artists from the United States, yeah. right? Like that song with Drake. I mean, right. I thought that shit was a hit, right? Yeah. Right. But then he also has all of Latin America. Like, yeah. Latin America, if you include the Caribbean too, way larger than the U.S. Yeah. Okay? The United yeah. States is only 350 Latin million America people. Latin America is, yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. The United States is only 350 million people. Maybe yeah. 400 million, right? Latin America, bro, that's billions of people. Right. So if you can get one stream, one little pocket of fucking Man. streaming from Latin America, bro, you're making 10 times more streams than an American artist yeah. would make. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because we, we have this, like... Veil that okay, the America is like the top fucking nation in the world, right. but mm-hmm. we're not the biggest nation. No, like no. yeah, we, we're the we're the number one country, and I love yeah. the democracy we have here. Right? right, thank God I was born here in the USA. But right. there's fuck, especially even Africa. Africa's ten times bigger yeah. than the United States with more people. Yep, you know what I mean. So I think it's cool though. <laughs> yeah, what <clears throat> genre do you guys consider him? Bad Bunny? Yeah. Like, I don't know. He's like reggaeton yeah. rap in a way. He's kind of like, like reggaeton. A, he's a, he got bars like for rap. You he know does. what I mean? Like, and, and I'll be honest with you. You know, me being Latin and stuff, I, uh, I hate reggaeton. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I do. I do. Yeah, you do. I really you don't do. Like the slow shit? I, I, the slow like shit's the slow. nice. Yeah. You know what I mean? And, like the Aventura? Uh, the Aventura's <laughs> good. Um, 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 my, my girl, my uh, fiance. Uh, she she be putting on some of that Royce. Okay, you know yeah, what yeah. I mean? And then I'll be like, okay, that shit's nice. Right, you yeah. feel me? But like, for him, you know, he was kind of like the little Wayne of reggaeton. He had that weird voice. Oh, yeah. The yeah. weird way he would yeah, say yeah. shit. Yeah. And some people would be like, he's fucking annoying. How can you listen to him? <laughs> yeah. But right. his shit, his shit got low key smack. Yeah. And like you said, like he's so accepted in the Latin community that, I mean, fuck, they even had him in Narcos. Right. And I, and I fucking absolutely hate when they choose. Uh, a non-Mexican to play a Mexican character. Yeah, uh-huh. yeah, I mean, because he was he was with the Felix brothers oh, and they're okay, from yep. Tijuana, yeah, yeah. you uh-huh. know. So he was supposed to be Mexican, right. bro. I thought he did phenomenal. He with killed it. it, bro. He did phenomenal and, with it. Yeah, you I know what I mean. Yeah, yep. I think it speaks to his worth ethic because another thing. Um, so I, he was on the wrestling WWE. Yeah, yeah and I was like going to get to yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. A few, uh, a few uh, right. of those episodes and right. And Big E was on uh, on the Breakfast Club and yeah. he was yeah. talking about. Um, Bad Bunny's like worth ethic. He's like, dude, he traveled to Miami to train right. for like a month with us <laughs> just to Sick. do yeah. like two or three shows. <laughs> just to do that. <laughs> just to do so like, and it goes to speak. Yeah. So like when he's, yeah. I don't know, I, he's going like mainstream, bro. Yeah. It's, it's right. pretty crazy. He doesn't speak, uh, he doesn't really speak English. He really does either. He really <laughs> so it's does crazy it. that he's that big yep. here in right, the US. Right, right. I, I think Canelo might speak English better than him. Yeah. Right. You know, right I really now. do. I really do. Yeah. And and it's wild because it goes back to that he has that fu- nobody has a, a harder work e- working ethic right. than we do. You yeah, know what I mean? Right. And not 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 to diss any other races, you right. know, you know, not to diss any for real. But don't nobody work like a Latin does. That's true. And I don't right. care what nobody says. Shit, Latinos gotta work hard <laughs> to get where they get. And, yeah. And be a testament to him because he did do that shit. Like mm-hmm. he went and trained hardcore. He did. Even though he did a few shows, he fu- what did you see him at WrestleMania? Fucker was yeah, doing uh, moves yeah. like a goddamn yep. real didn't luchador. Even, didn't, he, didn't even have WWE merch that yeah. was released. Yeah. Oh, that like must actual, be dope. yeah, I seen that shit actual that. WWE. Oh, that I think he, hard. I think he had an actual shirt, like a merch Come shirt out and shit. Yeah, yeah. 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 fucking shit was hard. Yeah, he's bro. doing the damn thing. He's you know, you got, you got to give he's praises where praises need yeah. to be give. Yeah. And like, as for him, I mean, what? Well, who's the last person we seen do it besides Selena? 
Right. You know what I mean? Like who? Gl- over Gloria Stefan? Right. <laughs> you know what I mean? Who, yeah. who else? If we're being real, like that that type of stage. That type, like, not like you're, underground you're, yeah. people like yeah. us, you know? Exactly. Because there's people that are big in Latin America or big in Mexico or whatever, you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, and then they're, they're not big in the U.S. They never cross over. Uh-huh. You know what I mean? But he's crossing over just like Selena did. Yeah. And yeah, there's not many people who do that. Right. So yeah. No, it's not. It's not. shows and shit. Huge. Yeah. Yeah. Did you guys did you guys watch uh did you guys watch any of like those shows, Narcos and shit? Did you get a chance to, to yeah. watch that whole thing? How, yeah. how'd you, did you like it? I do, I do. Yeah. I like it because here here's the thing why I like it. Um my mom would always bring these these people up. Right. And right now they're they're characters in these yeah. in these in movies. Shows, yeah. But like like Huero Palma, you know, my mom would always bring up Huero Palma. Yeah. You know, we were we were actually at the same taco stand it's our story. We were actually uh-huh. at the same taco stand that Chapo had just left. And Wamuchi Sinaloa. Oh, for real? You know what I mean? And that taco yeah. spot was fire as fuck. Yeah. And, and I mean, and and when we even pulled up, well, we, we we just, what I seen was a group of people just leaving. Right. And you could see that they were hovering around somebody. Yeah. You know, and then yeah. I could hear my mom's boyfriend, you know, right. just telling yeah. her like, hey, that yeah. was that was El Chapo. Damn. And shit like yeah. that, you know, and that's, you were like, holy fuck, right. you know. But when I was out there, like I yeah. had said in the other episode, it really wasn't like how it shows in, in, in Narcos. Right. It wasn't that bad, yeah. you know. You right. seen the poverty and shit like right. that. But, um, uh, it was. It's cool because when when I go back and watch Narcos, I'm like, okay, they bring up some of the fucking ranchos that I've been to. Oh, sick. and shit. You yeah. know what I mean? And the Señor de los Cielos, dude. It it took it took Amado, me yeah. it took it took me until like almost the the end of um, when they introduced the model. Mm-hmm. It took me like to almost to the end of that to realize that that was fucking the fucking the king of the air. Oh, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> and, like and I'm like, wait a minute, that's right. fucking the Señor de los Cielos, <laughs> right. and it's like. We hear these guys like it, like their stories, their right. folk tales. Yeah, right. you know what I'm saying. Right. And, and it's crazy because uh, it's taught, like we right. said, it's you're bo- you're you're raised taught to not like somebody. Right. Because my mom and who she was affiliated right. with, they didn't like they did the dude Simaluen says right. you know they didn't get along with the Ariano brothers. Yeah, yeah. So oh, when right. I'm watching Narcos, I'm yeah. like fuck them shaggy hair bitches. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And fuck them. And yeah. and that that ending scene, it really didn't go down like that. When when oh, uh, when they caught the Ariano brother driving, oh, and they're yeah. bumping that third eye blind song or whatever, yeah. and um, they it, get pulled over, and they get pulled they over. Yeah, it didn't get it didn't go down like that. But the whole boots story was true. Yeah, the whole boot story is fucking Damn. true. He noticed that the dude had boots and was like, uh huh, you oh, guys got boots. me. You know what I mean? Yeah, you guys fucking shit. got me. Type right. shit. Yeah. But when I had seen, I wanted to see, you know what I mean, how yeah. how how that was, because yeah. I knew that that Ariano brother yeah. fucking gets killed, right? You know, and then, uh, but yeah, I I like Narcos. Bro, I think it's dope. Yeah, Me- Narcos, Narcos, Mexico. Mexico. Yeah, Mexico. Narcos, yeah, yeah. Narcos, yeah. Mexico is fucking dope. Yeah. I, haven't, I haven't gotten caught up completely yet. Yeah, I fucking love watching that shit. Though. Yeah, it's pretty. Yeah. It's pretty good. Yeah. So it, I guess that was like the last season of Mexico. Right. But you know, I don't know. They're saying that they can even do like a narco Sinaloa or narco. So are they, they not gonna they have to. Yeah. They, they have, have to. Did you guys right? watch the Chapo show? Uh yeah, I, I used to watch that yeah. shit. Yeah, she was pretty good. Like so is that one that. pretty good? That yeah. one's good. Yeah. I, I think the Chapo that's on that on that show mm-hmm. is better than the the yeah. actor from well, the Narcos because that. well yeah. because Chapo don't got a fucking underbite like that. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? You don't got an under in that bug. He talks to Yeah, he doesn't he doesn't sound that way. On Netflix Watch the El Chapo. Uh, yeah, series. It's a good I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to. I've been wanting to, honestly. It's bomb. Yeah. yeah, I'm gonna have to. That's just good. Yeah. But I think I. I mean, it's. It, I. I love it because. Um, I dude, I remember when they killed that priest. Oh yeah. I remember Grandma watching Telemundo, and we're fucking having breakfast and shit. Yeah. And, I, and my my grandma was saying, "Oh my God, they just killed a father." Yeah. And I remember <laughs> seeing the white car. Right. The mm. fucking white car. Oh, you know what I mean? I white remember Buick. seeing that, and it was just fucking shot up. Yeah. And I remember the reason why I remember the white Buick yeah. is because my mom used to have a fucking Buick. <laughs> oh uh, yeah, cut the Sierra, <laughs> cut the Sierra. You yeah. know what I mean? And I'm like, oh, that looks just like mom's car. You know what I mean? And. And then yeah. when I'm watching that episode, I'm like, holy shit, man. I remember when that fucking yeah, happened. Right. That's, you know? Yeah, that's crazy. But... Yeah. So, do you, uh, you guys know the story of how, like, Amado ended up, like, ending or, or passing away? I mean, I, I we've, we, we've heard the myths. Yeah. The you know, myths. We've, so nobody, the nobody myths. knows about him, but apparently, like, I don't know if you, you're familiar with, mm. he uh, he went to go get a face change because there was a lot of heat on him. Oh, I heard about this. Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So he went to get a face change, yeah. and, and apparently he, he died on the on operating, operating table. table. Yeah. But, you know, a lot of people are saying that, the, you know, the narcos even, like, alludes that he's right. still alive. They did, with Which, the little plane yeah, the little on the piano. Plane. That's how I would do it. Like, if right. I was having a face change, and, like, even a few people knew about it, I'd be like, okay, tell him I died on the operating table. Nobody knows my new face. Right. Honestly, I really think I he he's out there. Could be, yeah. He's out yeah. there. 
money talks, but money really fucking talked in the nineties. Yeah, really. I mean, right. it didn't. It, I didn't yeah. care what type of high seating you were in. Yeah. If you had the money, it talked so loud. And the type of the type of hand that he had in his right. in his fucking business, yes, sir. crazy. Crazy right. as fuck. When he finally got the fucking Colombians to come and be, okay, now I'm going to put right. you under my motherfucking wing. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's some straight baller type shit. That's and didn't they shit. even allude on there that he was one of the most tops grossing yeah. uh, drug dealers? In the 90s, yeah. Or, so, yeah. In, that, in, that in that time, era. in his era. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, what, what makes you think he didn't have the money to go ahead and do that? He done, he done, he done took the fucking Cubana yeah, up out of Cuba and took what, to Chile? Yeah. It was Chile or something yep. like that. Yeah. You know, bought her her own fucking Chile. place oh, right next yeah. to her beach. Like that. Yeah. Some shit like yeah. that. Yeah. And, yeah. Was, and, she, yeah. and she looked straight African. Right. Yeah. She didn't look like mm-hmm. like yeah. mixed, straight yeah. African. Yeah. Yeah. She looked black. Yeah. You would have loved her. Yeah, you would have loved her. <laughs> and uh, uh, that was Amado's girl, huh? That that was Amado's getaway. Yeah. That was his getaway. <laughs> yeah, that's what's up. I, I think he's alive. I think he's alive. Shit could be. I guess like that's how I do because it. Because he, he he only, he, and he would always talk about it too. You could, you know what I mean? When, once you get that chance to get away, you mm-hmm. got to hurry to get away. Mm-hmm. Right. You know, and, and El Chapo, yeah. he, he had his chance to get away right. and look what happened. Look what happened. He kept fucking wanting right. to fuck wanted, around. Wanted he's Sean good. Penn and shit. That was <laughs> Sean dumbest Penn? Shit. Oh, that was the most gangster shit. And I was shit. waiting I for that him. though. Yeah. I, I was waiting for that. <laughs> that shirt though that he was wearing, bro, everybody wore Versace after that. Fuck yeah. Tell me the Migos, the Migos fucking put Versace on They was feeling that shit. They was feeling that, that shit. Yeah, that was That's a good point. Do you guys feel like the culture, especially like uh, cultura mexicana, uh-huh. is, is being more like uplifted, especially nowadays? Because like you got the Migos, right? Of course, there, there are three rappers in a group, the three Amigos, but they shortened it to Migos. Yeah. Right? Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Then you got like the fucking Rambo movie. Did you guys see the latest Rambo movie? I like, haven't the newest seen it. One? So no, like, uh, two years ago, I maybe. Yeah, yeah. So the newest Rambo movie takes place in Mexico. Oh, he's going oh, against the cartel. Okay, okay. it's Rambo okay. against the cartel, bro. Oh, this fuck. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And he goes against the cartel. <laughs> Top and hands off. I, I, really, I really feel like they're elevating it and bringing it more to the light. Like, of course, like you know, that's the closest Latin country to America, mm-hmm. right? Is Mexico. Yeah. So that's always been like kind of infused, right. especially in the West Coast, where there's right. a lot of us here. Right. You know what I mean? But I feel like it's being elevated a little bit more. Like they're getting, they're 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 doing more stories, more, yeah, they are. more shows to highlight, you know, to highlight it. Yeah. yeah, and and I I think I think it's dope. Yeah, you know what I mean, I it's it's, cool. it's putting the spotlight on yeah. it, and it's it's getting more people than just the Asian culture yeah. to look at to look at the Mexican <laughs> right. culture, you know. Yeah. And I, I think it's cool that the Asians embrace the cholo culture like oh, that. Oh yeah, it was so. Yeah, I mean, cool. That shit, that shit's pretty low cool. Lowriders and all that yeah. shit. Yeah. yeah. Well, I actually, they, I they, I think right. I don't know. They might have been done in America. Don't mark me already. Mm-hmm. But I think they were the first ones that started doing like the little Dremel saw, like on the chrome oh, on uh-huh. the cars, like the actual really? fucking drilling yeah, yeah. into oh, the cars. Cool. You that's know what sweet. I mean? Yeah. And mm-hmm. and I remember there was a whole fucking car. I think cousin, I'm gonna name drop cousin uh, Fernando. Yeah. When I had Facebook, he had posted it, and they did a whole fucking right. sixty four. Like with, with the Dremel saw, that's it. You know, yeah, no. yeah. But I mean, it's 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 cool. It sucks. Yeah. I mean, it sucks that they're all they're really basing it around is the drug, right. the drug life. Right. Yeah. But I mean, what There's else so are they going to talk yeah. about? Auto I leaf moving their plant <laughs> over there. <laughs> yeah, what the fuck they going to talk about over there? Right. You I'm, know, it's a rich culture though. Like, there's a lot. In you know uh, Mexican culture and yeah. Latin culture in general, like mm-hmm. you know Latino culture in general, but it is cool to see it like elevated and stuff. Because even I mean we we you know we grew up in the nineties and stuff like yeah. that, and a lot of the OGs and like through the eighties and into the nineties and stuff like that, there was that rift between you know African American gangs and, and Mexican American gangs yeah. and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. And now that's kind of like that's like it's blurred now. Like it's it's all just one now. Like you yeah. got YG doing songs like my right. bitch go loco. Right. He has an artist that he signed, Sad Boy Loco, yeah. who his shit's sick too. Yeah. You know what I mean? But it's like, it's cool. Like it, it it's is. finally being elevated mm-hmm. to a point where like, um, especially growing up as we did, like Mexican culture, like you either, you either were, you know, from Mexico and like yeah. all about all that stuff or right. you're Mexican American and you had only the Cholo culture. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it's cool to see like people like bringing that into pop culture it is you it is I mean? cool it yeah. is cool and then you even got fools gone wild you know that was that was basically yeah. just mainly just structured around the cholo culture yeah you know and now they got exhibit exhibit was at his last show yeah. you know what i mean and that's and that's big like I, I when i seen that i wanted to know how many fans were really unhappy to see that right because that that black and brown shit that still low-key happens out mm-hmm. there right. you know so i wonder how many motherfuckers were like oh man fuck <laughs> this <laughs> yeah. he brought this dude out on right. stage you know but <laughs> 
fuck, I, I mean, you, you guys support each other and you guys make it. Yeah. You know, it's yep. simple as that. So true. I thought it was super dope that Exhibit, you know, did that, went to their concert, went and did the show with them. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it was yeah. unmasked as a little mystery. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's fucking, it's fucking funny. You know this what I mean? It's dope. It's Hell fucking yeah. funny. And it's like, you know, we're, we're just as funny as the, as the African-American culture, too. Oh, yeah, yeah. And, you know? I, the, like, we've influenced each other. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? The African American culture has influenced, you know, Mexican yeah. American at least culture right. um, to a large extent, and yeah. vice versa. Like we've, yep. we've influenced a lot of stuff like that. It reminds me of a I went and seen when Cat Williams came to um, the University of Utah. He did a show like like two thousand eight, two thousand nine, uh-huh. maybe. Uh-huh. He did a show at Kingdom Hall up there at the University of Utah, mm-hmm. and um, Leslie Jones uh, opened for him. There's uh-huh. a bunch of other openers that that had a lot to say about like. They grew up in L.A. And right. Like no Mexicans and stuff right. like that. Cause right. It was a heavy Mexican crowd. Yeah. But Leslie Jones was like, oh, come on. Like, we're, we're basically the same. So you can't tell me that fucking chicharrones ain't damn pork skins. Yeah. You know? It is. <laughs> She's like, it my is. first boyfriend was a Mexican and stuff like yeah. that. Yeah. It was funny because, like, it was literally a whole, like, right. auditorium of some African Americans, some, you know, Mexican Americans and, and Mexicans and shit like that. Right. And we were just enjoying watching, you know, people yeah. who grew up like us. Right. It was fucking dope. <laughs> and it is. It, it, I, I love. I love when it can be that way. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Where you don't really got to look at the skin color and just kind of look at like, oh, okay, we are similar. Right. You know, we are similar in that aspect. Yep. So that's pretty cool. Well, it would be pretty dope if like a Fool's Gone Wild did something like like Don't Be a Menace. Yeah. You know how, you know how like Don't <laughs> yeah. Be a Menace kind of they joke yeah. around with yeah. with the the gang culture. Yeah. Right. Like right. they make fun of the you right know, the Menace to Society movie. Yeah. yeah. Like, you know you laugh at that because it's funny, but yeah, like you funny. know the Cholos, you can, I don't know they're, they're funny as fuck. Too, <laughs> L- yeah. Not yeah. not trying to be funny, you know. Oh no, yeah, but, but they it, are. It, yeah. So it would you be know? pretty dope to see that. Like when they uh, add like the S a Cholo in the in the shit, you know what I mean? Spence on me, You know what I mean? Like shit like that, and they're being dead ass. Yeah, but to right. us, we're like, it's what the fuck? fuck? <laughs> Bro, that, speaking of that, what's up with the with the females? Um, you, Fool's Gone Wild posted at least two videos. <laughs> that girl? But like, yeah, but fucking girls talking with the R, like the R. Like, I'm just, yeah, I'm just posted up. You know? Yeah, <laughs> that shit's too much. That's that's their version of ratchet. Right, yeah. You know what I mean? That, shit, that shit's too much. That yeah. bitch will probably finish this Modelo faster than I will. Oh, she finished the whole case, bro. Damn, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that shit's crazy, and and you know yeah. what? You never know. Maybe uh, uh, Lil Mystery e is doing it in the works. I you know what I mean? Sweet, because bro. he does the voiceovers. Like, yeah. what would you call this movie? Right. You know what I mean? Like shit. And he, yeah. I mean, he's gained so much fucking money and popularity that he probably is right talking to somebody about to do, something. Yeah. You know, he he's good friends with Felipe Esparza. He could have been right. like, hey man, what kind of connections yeah. do you have? Type shit. Right. Right. You to know and. And I hope he does. I hope he does. Too. I hope he blows up. Yeah, you know what I mean, Bro, because Fool's Gone Wild is <laughs> the fucking dopest damn Instagram yeah, page right it now. It is. It is. Yeah. And, and even and even and even if he really isn't Mexican like that, I don't give a fuck. Right. You know what I mean? Because that shit's funny as fuck. He has to be. He has to be to know shit like <laughs> right. that. It's you know what I mean? And it's just yeah. a, and it's crazy too because you do. I've seen I've seen like reels on Instagram of like other uh, Chicano art people. Yeah. Tattoo artists and shit like they're right. against Fools Gone Wild. Oh really? They don't like it. What? They <laughs> yeah. they think that 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 Fools Gone Wild is making fun of our culture. Oh no, it's highlighting. The little rapper right. Pesos, uh, who's on an interview saying he didn't like it either. He's right? Like, really? He's like, cause he's been on it. <laughs> yeah. He's like, you know, they always put like rate his flow one through sixty nine. Uh, right. Oh, that's like a joke. They're making fun of my my flows. Right. Like, right. I think that shit's serious. Yeah. But yeah. It, but, to, like, but like to me, if he gets a sixty nine, that means yeah. he's hitting it. <laughs> sixty nine, right there. Boy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and a lot of people take it wrong, right. and I think Peso might take it wrong just because he has an Edgar. <laughs> maybe you know what I mean. He's got maybe you know, so he might feel like he he's kind of feeling right? a little yeah. attacked and violated. Yeah. But it's crazy because you can sit there and you can make fun of these motherfucking air cut headgers all you want. Right. The last thing you want to see is a fucking barrel in your face oh. being held by an editor. You know what I'm saying? Because that's how with it is face, nowadays. Too, with, that, <laughs> with that fucking face. <laughs> with the white tee and the baggy jeans. Get the fuck <laughs> out of here, dude. Smack, smack the fucking barrel. barrel uh, yeah. Get the fuck out of here. Suck my dick. <laughs> but yeah, bro, fucking shout out to Foods Gone Wild. I love that page, bro. I mean, mm-hmm. maybe to people who are growing up and they have that perspective where they're living that kind of still right. like, total lifestyle, maybe they feel like it's offensive. But it's not. It's just like highlighting it. It's highlighting like, it. Bro, humor humor highlights things in a way that you can't 
by just sucking a motherfucker's dick. You right. Know I mean? You don't. It's true. Yeah, if you're on somebody's dick, you're like, oh, you're so great. Oh, it's so good because of this and this. Like, that shit gets old. But if you're making jokes about it, mm. like humor is the biggest form of flattery. It is. If you can make fun of something, you it love is. it. Yeah. You really like I it. Make, you know I, I, mean? I make a joke out of my yeah. addiction. You know? Exactly. Make a joke out of it. And that's, yeah. I think that's why I connect with him so well. Yeah. Because I, that's probably what he's doing. We don't right. know. We don't know if he's a he's recovering backstory. addict yeah. either. We don't know his backstory. You know, I heard I heard a, a, a cool <laughs> story from George Perez. You know, shout out to George Perez, even though he probably won't ever watch this. Mm. But anyway, shout out to George Perez. He said that uh, they were at a comedy show. Yeah. And I think. Uh, I think uh, Little Mr. E was doing was opening up, yeah. you know, and he hadn't really uh, yeah. uh, made it yet, but he had gained a little bit of fan base out there underground. Oh, okay, yeah. Okay, and um, George Perez was out there in the front of the door, and um, uh, he was just chilling there with another fucking right. Chicano, and they're like just greeting people, you know, and they're like, mm -hmm. oh yeah, we're here to see Little Mr. E, yeah. and the dude that was right next to fucking yeah. Perez was Little Mr. E. Oh yeah, and he was just yeah. Really, and Just I like and I think nothing, he should yeah. keep it that way. Right. If you're gonna keep it that way and do yeah. all these like funny unmaskings right. and all the other people, then keep your identity just straight. Just keep it. Don't straight, let nobody yeah. know what right. it is. You it's know because dope. it. I think it brings a lot more excitement to his story. Yeah. You know it so does, too. and you know you've seen all the art, all the music artists is pointing up their stats. What is it for Spotify? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, and then he he threw his stats up oh, there. Yeah. Oh, I didn't check that. On out. The, yeah, well, I on a comedic on a comedian yeah. album. You know, hold on, hold on. Let me see. Sorry, That's guys. Safe. On a comedian album. Yeah. Just fucking joking around. Right. Yeah. Just yep. fucking joking around. Let me see. I haven't, yeah, I haven't checked that album out yet, but I want to. I, I, I don't even know. He had I've, I've heard like his songs. I didn't even know he had a comedy album. Like Serge, I think you sent me a song a long time ago, yeah. bro. You yeah, see, yeah. Of, of them, and I think I barely <laughs> like. Yeah, I think you introduced me to Foo's Gone Wild. Yeah, yeah. With that song, yeah, um, you and Paul's the one to introduce me. Yeah. Shout out to Valentino. Paul. Yeah, we, we can't wait to get <laughs> Valentino back up in here. Okay, bro, look. Sorry, yeah, I didn't mean to interrupt you're you. Good, brother. Fool's Gone Wild, eight hundred and twenty-two thousand streams. Damn. Wow. Yeah. Okay. 29 and a half fucking hours. A thousand hours. What? Yeah. 99,000 So it's a comedy listeners. album? It's, it's album a comedy album. album. Yeah? It's a comedy album out. about partying, yeah. uh, popping a pill. <laughs> um, I mean, everything, bro. The party line. He has ciphers on yeah. there. He has the, his alter eagle. What's her name? It's a girl. Oh, yeah, yeah. The, yeah I, know I don't know her name. <laughs> But Makes it, me laugh. when you sit there, and from the comedy perspective, it's funny as fuck. Yeah. But when you're like actually listening, if Roman, you, right. you know what I mean, somebody yeah. who's like 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 really uh -huh. likes music, you're gonna be like, okay, <laughs> He's doing yeah. thing. okay, this motherfucker's yeah. spitting, That's you know. Sick, and uh, it's a comedy album, not one song serious. Maybe uh, "Fools Gone Wild," the yeah. actual song called it's, it's "Fools actually, Gone Wild," yeah. is maybe. Like, you know, just yeah. a normal type song. Yeah, like we just some song, fools. Yeah. <laughs> I gotta check that out. That's you you so really sick. need to because when, know. when, you, when, you, when you do, yeah. you're literally, you're going to yeah. listen to it. I'm gonna check you know, my out. fiance was like, you're, you're really yeah. like listening to that, yeah. aren't you? You know what I mean? Yeah. I'm like, fuck yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah I'm yeah, sitting yeah. there rolling up a blunt and I'm like, this shit's yeah. hard. What are you yeah. talking about? And even her brother, he came up, he would come up and he'd be like, hey, is that that... That Mr. Uh -huh. E dude you're talking yeah, about? Yeah. And I'm like, yeah, that's yeah. him. And he's like, that shit's actually pretty good. That's sick. Yeah. I gotta check that shit out. Check bro. it out, bro. He's, yeah. I mean, it, not just because he's Mexican, I mean, to anybody. If you're a funny motherfucker, keep it running. Oh, hell yeah. This dude's making con making money off concerts off of a fucking meme page. Yeah. Yeah. A, a meme page. page. Yep. It's true. You People know? love to laugh, bro. Yeah. Like, and that's and it, if you don't, if you don't have any connection yeah. to what his lifestyle is or what he jokes about, at least give it a, a listen to where he got. Yeah. You know what I mean? How yeah. he got there. <laughs> yeah. You know? Yeah. That's so dope, bro. I got to check that out. But yeah, so going back, how I found out about Fools Gone Wild, mm -hmm. the page. So I had gone out with, with Sergio, our, our homeboy, Valentino Paul Warren, and a couple of other the, um, the homegirls we have and shit like that, and, and your fiance. We were out partying. We were just kicking it all uh -huh, night. Uh -huh. Ended up at his house. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was supposed to go home, but I was fucking <laughs> drunk as fuck. I was at his house. Bro, so drunk, I was like passing out on the table. Yeah. And uh, Paul's like, uh, they were talking about Foo's Gone Wild. I was like, what is that? You know, what's Foo's yeah, Gone Wild? And then yeah. like, Paul, <laughs> being an African American, is like, you don't know about Fools Gone Wild? Yeah, he was he fucking was like, dumbfounded. He's like, wow, he's like, this is fucking the dopest page. And then he showed me and the uh, Serge was looking at it too. So I was like, oh, I'll fucking follow them tomorrow or whatever. So I yeah, because you was fucked yeah, up. I, was bro yeah. I passed out on your, I think your son's bed. Yeah. I was so drunk. <laughs> yeah. I was so we drunk. We told you, we told oh, you to go lay bro. down because you were sleeping <laughs> yeah. on the table. I was yeah. fucked up. I fell yeah. on the table. They woke I thought he was in high school yeah. again. <laughs> <laughs> I was so fucked up, bro. I went and slept on his son's bed and just fucking passed out on his bed. 
But and this fucker really did get up and go to work. Went to work. Straight <laughs> from my house. Went to fucking work. over. Bro. Wrong over. And I wake oh, up. Oh, you were with us that night, too. I started with you guys. Yeah. I started like, with us. I was so drunk. I and then we, closed, we went and closed Kokomo's. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Fuck. You guys, yeah, you guys were going to go. And that's when I left. When you guys left. Yeah, you left at the right time. But I was like. I got when fucking I, faded, when bro. He, when I get to that work, I'm like, the fuck did this guy make it to work? Yeah. Like, Straight to work. Yeah. Didn't even go home just was, from my yeah. house to work. I was on Red fuck. Bulls, bro. I was just living off that's, of Red that's Bulls. That, that's that Latin <laughs> shit. That's that Latin <laughs> shit. That's that Spanish blood. Yeah. Because that's intense. That's that I can't, Hispanic shit. I can't do that. I, I'm no, one of those people where if old. I don't have a good amount of sleep... Yeah. Or if I'm fucked up the night before, I really can't make it to work. I hate right. to be a bitch about it, but I ain't making it. <laughs> I'm not. Yep. Went, bro. Put in the hours and shit, but... You really did, you yep. fuck. <laughs> but that's what I found out about Fools on Wild. I've been fucking <laughs> loving that shit ever since. Yeah, it's loving pretty good. I try to get up... I try to uh, support the merch and shit. Mm. You know, I got the Lokes and stuff, but it's it's like every time something goes up, it leaves yeah. fast. You yeah. know? Uh, surprisingly, yeah. his Black Friday shit didn't leave fast. That's his Black good. Friday shit yeah. stood up for like two days. Yeah. That's dope. Yeah, it did. That's they even brought cool. back the uh, Where's This Fool Going? I guess that's the first shirt that oh, really? they brought where's it out. And it got the Cholo standing like that. <laughs> and it has two um, flying saucers. Yeah, okay. Because he always does the uh, <laughs> warning. Warning, <laughs> where's this fool where's going? This fool going? And he'll yeah. just sit there and make yeah. fun of what yeah. he's doing, you yeah. know? Yeah. So when we're done with this, I'm going to yeah. have to show you some you clips because it's, some, it's yeah, fucking old funny. You gotta go uh, catch yeah, the yeah. old ones, yeah. I've scrolled scroll through the catalog and try to catch up. There's so much, but yeah. it's just so Now funny, that I know bro. that you need to be caught yeah. up, I'm going to go through all my saved clips yeah. and just start sending them to you. Yeah, Because that shit's funny as fuck. It is. The fucking girl voice that he does, like you were saying. Oh, fuck. And that's the first time I heard that, like, rolling the R's on fucking real shit. Yeah, He posted that real girl, real fucking. Real, yeah, real, and, the rap. and look, and he goes, and he goes, uh, uh, how does he say it? He goes, he goes, um, um, oh shit, something like post it on the block, always fucking her, yeah. keep a chore on my side. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, shit like that, you know what I mean? Like, that's yeah. fucking, it's funny so as fuck, funny, but it's bro. fucking hard, it's fucking hard, yeah, as fuck it's too. fucking hard. Yeah. That's that shit's fucking dope. That yeah, is fucking he's gonna amazing. he's he's I, I think he he's gonna he's gonna do some big shit. Oh he's hell yeah, big shit. I hope yeah, so, man. Fucking, I can't believe he's doing shows and shit. Sell, sold out shows. Sold out shows in man. Cali. You know what I mean? That's and now and now he, his next show's in yeah. Phoenix. That's fucking sick. You know, and he yeah. was even asking who should we bring out to the show, and yeah. I I commented and was like, you should bring right. the original Nasty Boy Klika. Oh, that'd be sick. Not Click. Yeah, you know, yeah, you yeah. know how they spelled out Klika. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you know, bring the original, the original group. Yeah, yeah. Bring them, bring them motherfuckers out. Nasty Boy. Because who out. else are they going to bring out in Arizona? Bro, they had sick-ass songs, too. Yeah, they really like, did. Like, that shit was fucking... Those streets were fucking they loving were, that shit. They were. They Bro, were. Like, the fucking hooks were dope. Um, the raps were dope. They yeah. had Boogie Loke on yeah, that shit, too. With the Boogie deep Loke. voice and shit. Whatever like, happened to Boogie Loke? What happened to Boogie Loke? I don't know, man. I'm going to look this catalog. I hope it wasn't, like, drugs or something. He might be on uh, SoundCloud or something. <laughs> Fucking sound clean about SoundCloud and Tijuana. Shout out to Boogie Loke, man. <laughs> Boogie Loke, man. We remember you. Mm. We remember you. But yeah, I my mom fucking even got one of fucking MC Magic's uh a uh, little personalized shit on one of the newer CDs. Uh-huh. At the end of it, they're like, "Yeah, this is MB Riders. Yeah, well, you know, we're 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 doing we're doing little songs for Valentine's Day or anniversaries oh, yeah, yeah. type shit." And I'm like, wait a minute, that's how he came up. Yeah. You know, and I remember the tape, the tape even said MC Magic, um, um, Phoenix, Arizona, Swamp Meat. Oh, and yeah. And it had a number on it. That's sick. And um, he's rapping about me like a Ninja Turtles. Oh, yeah. Dancing like Michael so he Jackson. Was doing shit like, yeah. <laughs> that's yeah. dope. It bro. said, um, yeah. what do he say? What do he say? He goes, and Tambien, he's a jamming. He's always imitating Michael Jackson. Oh. All the chiquitas, you know what they say. All the girlies say, hi, Sergio, every day. Oh, that's dope. Yeah, that was MC Magic. Yeah. And I'm a kid, so I I remember yeah. that you know that's so you know dope. yeah yeah so fuck? yeah that's he sick, he bro. was just marty morphin powder time yeah. you know what i mean like oh, that yeah, shit yeah, yeah. Like, yeah that shit was classic that shit. that's classic, classic bro, bro so. MC magic is dope though because i've seen him uh do a couple shows like of course of course when he used to come to like classic skating especially out like here that. they, yeah, yeah. They, that's all they and he, he did the here. lowrider like um single de mayo concerts yeah out here yeah in salt lake and right shit like that. right he was cool as fuck he'd always like you know, if somebody had a request, he wouldn't yeah. hesitate to do a right. request. Right. You know what I mean? After the show, he'd be taking pictures, signing right. shit. You know what right. I mean? So he he fucking takes it like seriously. And that's and cool. Gotta, yeah. I love I love he's when humble, I love bro. when artists he's are humble. like that. Yeah. I love when artists are like that. And another th- and I'm gonna bring this up, just because they just had a versus battle. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But uh, remember when we went and seen Three Six Mafia? Yep. And we yeah, wanted to be we wanted amazing. to be right in front. <laughs> and speaking to being humble. Yeah. Um. <clears throat> 
They started the versus off battle with the song I wanted them to perform here. Oh, yeah? Because I even had yeah. Who Run It on the back of my 3-6 oh, Mafia shirt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Project Pat was, you know, he was a real hood motherfucker because yeah, yeah, yeah. he had to go like that. Yeah. And look, you know, me and yeah. Adam were right in front. Yeah. Yep. But to the being humble part is 3-6 Mafia and all them, they were telling everybody to get on stage, remember? Oh, he was going to get on stage with him. Oh, yeah, they pulled yeah, a Selena and the yeah. stage started fucking starting. <laughs> yeah, it yeah. did. Oh, it did, but Juicy J yeah. was pulling everyone yeah. up. You know what I mean? Come on, come, come up. up. We yeah, was, yeah. I kept telling you, you think yeah. we should go up there? Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, but it's a good thing we, we did it, though, because we lost, we would have lost our spot. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, we would have lost our spot. And so, like, yeah. that that type of humbleness is dope That's as so fuck. Dope, you know, Juicy J is a Grammy winner, ain't he? Right, yeah, yeah, Fucking Grammy winner. Fuck, so man. uh I mean that that type that type of shit, you know, the humbleness from celebrities is Yeah, is unmatched, bro. Like cause you want somebody that you're a fan of to be humble enough to mm-hmm. acknowledge that okay, they're supporting me. Because right. in a, in a sense, like as a fan of a person, you're 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 building their right. their fucking wallet. You are you are their, I think Tory Lanez touched right? on that yeah. a couple days ago. Yeah, man. you know. So it's huge. It's cool that humble artists and shit like that that have that time or even just the little things like that, like noticing yeah. your shirt, yeah, or you know, pulling fans on stage right. and stuff like that goes a right. long way, bro. DJ Quick, yeah. remember yeah, when I DJ was just Quick? Say that. You got yeah. that shirt, you got that picture of that shirt. Yeah. Of that. Yeah, you made a shirt of their picture, of right? Of the picture, yeah. Oh, yeah. When, yeah. when uh, yeah. through the, the um uh, can you say bud why uh, sir yeah. did you see the right. thighs on her <laughs> yeah. younger than a motherfucking yeah. baby doll yeah. yeah uh yeah he was right there right next to us bro Sick. and he handed me the yeah, mic because he seen me right. Right. you know we dj quick yeah. was a part of our DJ, lives when we was yeah. kids yep. and when he was uh, pitching on a party right. well i know that <laughs> motherfucker <laughs> word for word yeah, sir. and he noticed it yeah and he noticed it yeah. and he seen that i was a kid right you know what I mean? And for yeah. him to give the mic like that, like shit like yeah. that is just... It goes a long way. It's dope as fuck. Yeah. I remember he was throwing chips in the crowd. <laughs> oh, he came shit. out in a Utes jersey. Yeah. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, the, the, the U- Didn't you have that Show same Utes jersey? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. you did. Yeah. Show Show love sick, yeah, yeah. We got to have a segment where we talk about like shows that we've been to. Because oh, yeah. we we've yeah, been to a lot. Sure. Me, and Ad- me and Adam, we were up early at the fucking Bro, State Fair Parks. Oh, yeah. So we could get there. Yeah, because the fucking bladder was... Phil to the max, bro. To the max. Fuck. We weren't moving to, to that max. fucking spot. We're not though. moving. Oh, yeah. They had we're fucking gotta hold that shit. Murphy Lee and the St. Lunatics. <laughs> yeah. Yin Yang yeah. Twins, Tech Nine. All kinds bro, of bro, remember, remember that when your mom took us to a summer jam? We fucking, after, like, when it all cleared off and we fucking went and seen her? <laughs> yeah. It looked like we got back from war, bro. <laughs> we just fucking, fucking like, war. God damn. She's like, oh, Mijo, it's good to see you guys. It was a fucking war. She got signatures for you, though. She did. She got signatures for both of us. For Tech Nine. Yeah, Tech Nine in there somewhere. Yeah. Yeah. Your mom was Tech down, bro. Your mom she was down. Yeah. She was getting signatures When it was came down to something like that, mom was fucking on it. Yeah, She's like, oh, I better get something for my heat yeah. <laughs> We met up like that shit was fucking war. Fucking it was fucking war. Uh, shirts all <laughs> fucking. We're all fucking done, bro. All Can we go to McDonald's? Because you know McDonald's was just right yeah, there by the State Fair Park. Park. Fucking all day. Got some Tech 9, Cal- Calhoun, oh, and fucking shit, uh, 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 Chris Calico. Yeah. Chris Calico Ooh, autographs. Man, ain't nothing like a live show, bro. Nothing like a live, but show. a live show with yeah. live with with the uh, with live instruments. Oh yeah, oh, that's I, yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. yeah. And 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 nowadays you really don't see that Snoop Snoop, Snoop yeah. even stopped. Oh, he did. I don't know. Okay, oh. the last time I seen Snoop the and I and I'll be on. I'll be honest with you, bro. I'm just I, I'm so I've been to so many concerts yeah. nowadays. When I hear a Snoop show or Ice Cube show, I'm just yeah. like, oh, right. You know what I mean? There, but yeah. but the last time I I went to the Snoop and Wiz Khalifa yeah. show that was out yeah. here. And I was pissed because it was a DJ. Yeah. And I was like, no, dude. So he fired the Snoopadelics. He had to have. <laughs> he had to have. Uh, because that was big. Was yeah. you at the USANA Amphitheater show when he came? No, I haven't, was haven't that seen one? Snoop, bro. You haven't seen that one? Came, yeah. I've never seen Snoop. Yeah. Oh, but we seen Wiz Khalifa before he got big at yeah. that show. Oh, yep. yeah. Remember that? Wiz Khalifa mm-hmm. performed before he blew up at that uh, uh, the Summer Jam at the Sonic Amphitheater. When we was with that BZ and all the family. Yeah, Swiss Beats was there Yeah, performing. Swiss Beats and all that. Yeah. Yeah, that was a good show. That was yeah. a pretty good show. That was a pretty oh, that good was show. A great show. Yeah. Oh man, we, <laughs> we do good. have to have a segment on that. We got to because because I want to keep bringing up shows. We're gonna yeah. have to wait for that on a segment, right? For sure. There's some good yeah. stories. For Cynthia Fernandez at Weaver State. Oh, oh shit! Yeah. What the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> good yeah. ass Cynthia. You guys remember the old mat- wrestling matches at Weaver oh, State? Oh yeah, bro. I remember going to one and uh, my mom took me. Uh huh. And it was all the OG wrestlers like Iron Sheik. Yeah, yeah, the ones yeah, that yeah. Vince McMahon did right, all yeah. the free sign. <laughs> and they were like uh, Jimmy Superfly Snuka. Yeah, like that. bro. Doink the Clown was coming. Legends. Out. Yeah, Doink the Clown was coming down, Legends. and like not a lot of people were like King going Cup up to him. And I, I, me and my Roman, we went up to him. We're like, "Doink the clown!" They signed yeah. autographs. And he was like, "Yeah, like, like, yes." He signed the autograph because he was so excited. That somebody knew who Doink the clown. Yeah
Legends. <laughs> King Kong Bundy. King Kong Bundy. Like, what the George fuck? George the Animal Steel. Yeah. All those motherfuckers. If I would have known how dirty Vince McMahon was, I would have been talking shit about <laughs> Vince McMahon. 